Today we're going to assemble a Saplin's glider swinging crib and to show us how it all goes together please let me introduce Heather. So let's get started. Lay out a crib end as shown. Now take a side rail and position it so that the groove in the side rail is facing inwards. Using two large bolts secure the side rail to the crib end. Screw the bolts in finger tight, but don't tighten them up yet. Now we need to repeat the process with the other side rail, making sure that the groove in the side rail is facing inwards and that we secure the bolts just finger tight. Now take a base end support and position it between the two side rails. Make sure its groove is facing upwards. Now carefully slide the base down between the grooves in the crib sides so that it locates in the groove in the crib end support. Make sure the base is the correct way up. Place the other crib end support groove side down onto the end of the base and then place the other crib end into position as shown and secure it to the crib sides with four more large bolts. Remember don't tighten them all the way, just finger tight. Now check that the base is correctly located in the grooves all the way round the crib. Now that we know that the crib base is properly in position, you can go round and tighten all eight bolts with an Allen key. Now take a crib foot end and the cross member. Place the crib foot end upside down. Now locate the dowel in the cross member into the foot end as shown. Take a large barrel nut and place it in the hole in the cross member and align it with a screwdriver. Now take a large bolt and pass it through the foot end and screw it into the barrel nut in the cross member and tighten off with an Allen key and repeat this for the other side to give you your crib stand. Now take a swinging arm and a sidebar. We're working with the swinging arm that has the locking nut insert in it. Position the dowel in the sidebar into the hole in the swinging arm as shown. Then place a small barrel nut into the hole in the sidebar, align with a screwdriver, and then place a large bolt through the swinging arm and into the barrel nut and then tighten off with an allen key. Now we need to do exactly the same on the other side but this time we're using a swinging arm without the locking nut insert. Our sidebar should now look like this and we need to repeat the process so that we have two sidebars. Now take one of the sidebars and hold it as shown. The swinging arm that is circled is the swinging arm with the locking nut insert in it. Now take a small bolt and pass it through the hole in the swinging arm. Place over a washer and then a metal sleeve. You now need to locate this in the bearing nut at the end of the crib stand. Once you have it located, you can now screw it in finger tight. And you need to repeat this process on the other side. Place the washer over the bolt, then the metal sleeve. Locate it in the bearing nut. And then screw it in finger tight. You can now tighten off with an Allen key and do likewise for the bolt on the other side. Your crib stand should now look like this. You need to attach the other side bar in a similar manner. The swinging arms that have the locking nut inserts are circled here. It is important they are positioned correctly. Now fold the side bars inwards and turn the stand onto its side. You now need to get the crib body 
and put it in place as shown here. We now need to attach the swinging arms to the crib body, once again using a small bolt, then a washer, then the metal sleeve. Locate the bolt into the bearing nut and then screw it up finger tight. Repeat this for the other side. We now need to tighten both bolts with an allen key. Sometimes the bolt will appear to just go round and round. This is because the bearing nut is spinning with the bolt. If this happens, squeeze the sidebar and the crib body together. This will temporarily lock the bearing and allow you to tighten the bolt. We now need to repeat this procedure to attach the other sidebar. Getting the last bolt into position can be a bit fiddly. You may have to gently ease the crib body away from the sidebar to allow you enough space to locate the bolt into the bearing nut. Once in position, you can tighten both bolts with an Allen key. You can now carefully bring the crib up onto its feet. To lock the crib into position, take a locking pin and screw it through the crib body into the hole in the swinging arm as shown here, and do so with the other locking pin on the other side. You now need to go round all the nuts and bolts on the crib to make sure they're secure. While the crib's in use, it's very important that you do this periodically to make sure none of the nuts and bolts have worked loose. Your Saplin's glider swinging crib is now ready for its mattress and its little guest. Thank you for watching.